a quick uh, run through of bronchopulmonary dysplasia also known as chronic lung disease of prematurity uh, it's defined as oxygen requirement beyond day 28 and it's uh, mild if it fulfills that definition but doesn't go on to be, go beyond 36 weeks if it crosses 36 weeks it's moderate if the fao to requirement is less than 0.3 and baby doesn't need positive pressure or it's a severe one if the fao2 is more than 0.3 or there is positive pressure ventilation needed uh, there is a difference between the old BPD described by Northway, uh, pre-surfactant, pre-steroid, pre-non-invasive uh, ventilation era, uh, or you can screen non-routine, non-invasive ventilation era, and uh, modern BPD where it's more like a lung arrest related um, maturation issue in extreme preterm babies. So in Northway staging, there was stage one, which is a homogeneous appearance of RDS, and stage two shows generalized opacity frequently seen towards the end of the first week of life. Stage three is the onset of chronic changes with a bubbly appearance and stage four, the typical uh, chronic BPD changes with the uh, hyperinflation, bleb formation. The fibrous streaks are usually a poor prognosis because that means the lung is uh, unlikely to heal even if you give steroids, uh, systemic steroids to these babies. The pulmonary hypertension is one of the reasons that these babies succumb. Uh, cardiomegaly and carpulmonary may result. So this is the stage two to three BPD with the early start of the cystic changes and stage four BPD where you, you may get a streaky fibrous picture and multiple cystic changes in the lung as well. Uh, in modern BPD, it's very rare to see such severe cystic rate changes, though we do see the occasional babies with the similar changes. It's more likely similar to the stage two BPD with bilateral hazy lung fields and patchy inflation. And uh, chronic lung disease babies may need home oxygen therapy and they have to be considering RSV prophylactic.